dude, look at this old wood. Said it, it looked like it got a little bit of a boost like that. I'm like, why would this one do it and not all of them do it? But wondering if this is a terrifying discovery. Is that blood on the ceiling? It's kind of creepy, ain't it? All right, there's a lot to explore right here, it looks like. Apparitions of a young woman has been seen hitchhiking here. <gasps> yo, 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 HTD for lifers, what it is? Back again, hot on the Randonautica trail, using Randonautica, using Scaranoia app, my app. That's right, baby, download it right now in your Google and Apple Play Store. We're out here using scary intentions, looking for that scary, scary treasure. Now, you know what? Sometimes we find it, sometimes we don't, but we always have an adventure and you guys are always along for the ride. I I'm stoked and uh, you looking pretty pretty today. Yeah. Miss Thang, Miss yeah. Pinky Thang. Yes, thang yes. Thang. Look at that little chicken wine right now. No, 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 my. Hey, boy. All right, man, we're going in today, guys. I'm on fire. Had a cup of coffee. Just one cup. One cup's all it takes. Uh, I, I ain't gonna lie. This is a little scary. This is scary. Without even getting to the pinpoint, this is scary. Um, I don't see a hell of a whole lot of, of, of nothing here. Um, well, there's one random truck sitting there. Okay, it wants me to turn right here. No camping in this area. Oh, where it wants me to turn right. It doesn't want us to camp here. No fucking problem. No problem. Listen, um, is there a way to turn down here? No. Okay. Yes, no. Yes, no? Yes, no. no. Oh, I like that. That's a great answer. No, because it dips down. Bad idea. But I can, I can walk. Your truck will get stuck. Uh, <laughs> it says 750 feet that way. I'm worried about this truck, though. I don't want to film him directly, but there's an issue there. Don't you think? No? Maybe he's just enjoying a sandwich? Maybe, Maybe he's getting some Maybe some top? Maybe him a great ham and cheese sandwich and decided to come down here and eat it. Cause oh, I hey, yeah, look at the beautiful foggy view. Looks like Silent Hill, which comes out in like 10 days, guys. Okay, all right, uh, lock it up, lock it up. I ain't taking no chances. You ain't taking no chances. Oh, man. Starting out with some cardio. Go figure. This is the way that it works, isn't it? Okay. Beautiful view, by the way. I love the fog. I guess you could call this the fog vlog right now. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well, man. Big shout out to all the moderators in here. All the moderators, all the modern haters, <laughs> all the ovulators, spectators and instigators and percolators. Oh, there's a receipt. Oh, see. Hey. Oh, somebody shopping at the food line, hey? <laughs> they bought some sausage. What's going on with that? Hey. All right. I don't know what's back there. A little dirty napkin. Oh, what were they doing? They're dirty. Oh, well, somebody's been driving back here. Look at the tracks. My investigative skills have kicked in. Sometimes when people have a bonfire, they leave things around the fire. So let's just check and see if there's any kind of remnants. Any scary, scary remnants. Which, by the way, is something disturbingly misplaced. The intention. If I didn't say that, I apologize. I do make mistakes. Wow, that's pretty. That is really pretty. All right, we, we got to get that way, but let's just do a little investigation. Investigation? Investigation. Let's say it like we French, baby. Why not? One thing I don't like about this bonfire is it looks like they're they're using pieces of, um, what is it? Is it driftwood? Yeah. Beautiful pieces of wood, man. Don't burn that. You can turn that into really cool art. I ain't going to do it, but somebody can do it. Ooh, oh, disgusting. Ellie, there's a dead fish. Oh, God, Daddy. Hashtag Daddy. It's been a few days since I uh, posted, man. Um, depending on what day this is, I don't, I don't know, cause <laughs> I always post way out. So, oh, let's see what this is over here. And we got to keep an eye out for gators and stuff. Yeah, look at this piece of drift, bro. Oh, my God. Look at those little angry bastards. 
see what's up under this hump over here. Little Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Jody came through and made all the bitches fall. Humpty Dumpty had a big ball. Humpty Dumpty, he did it all. I love that. I love that kind of wood, bro. You can do all kinds of... I've seen really cool stuff done to it. I've seen people like carve... Uh-oh, what's going on? Okay, a new vehicle in here. A new vehicle approaching. Just keep our eyes open. Doesn't mean anything, but we keep our eyes open. Yeah, I was wondering if anybody like did a little fire here and maybe left something by it. Something disturbingly misplaced, especially. Well, we know they were eating Snickers. They must have had an Alicia too, because my Alicia, she, she likes the Snickers. She says they're finger licking good. That's what Alicia says. She goes, oh my God, these Snickers are finger licking good. Oh, it's like, what? Girl, you crazy. I'm gonna have to put a baby in you. All right, let's see. There's some food garbage back there. Some waters and bags of chips and other remnants. I wonder who decided to go back here and eat it instead of just out here on the, you know, somewhat of a, a beautiful beach. Hmm, let me go back in here. I'll never understand what makes the human mind tick. Disturbingly misplaced. It could, it could very well be me. I am disturbingly misplaced into this realm. Oh, somebody really drove back here, didn't they? Drove all through this little thing, thing. Whoa. Uh -oh. If you guys are newer to the channel, man, this is what I do. Uh, we come up with intentions. You guys come up with intentions. Most of the time, that's how it works. We use an app, and we state the intention. It gives us a location, and and we go to it and try and, and, and make sense of something, you know, find something that connects, that aligns us. Disturbingly misplaced. Well, we got to figure that out. What's disturbing? What's misplaced? Yeah. That's how, oh, there's a swamp right there. There's a little swamp by the beach. Ain't that something? That's something you don't want to get into right there. Can you imagine whoever was just sitting over here eating their bags of chips and drinking their drink? Just sitting there, all of a sudden a gator just comes up and pulls them in the water. That's disturbing. There might be a body in there, guys. No lie. Hey, listen. They found Brian Laundry in a swamp. They couldn't find him the first time because they went in the swamp. And, and they couldn't see him because the swamp was too high. But once it kind of dwindled out a little bit they found brian laundry yeah the dirty laundry huh have you guys seen these videos of these komodo dragons uh i think they're komodo dragons these big ass lizards monster sized lizards just eating whole goats they don't even chew them they just they just put them in their mouth and they swallow them it's the craziest shit i've ever seen in my life Komodo dragons eating goats. It's like the most devilish, devilish, devilicious, not devilicious. Maybe it's devilicious to the, the Komodos, but something came through here. Look, there's like a little bit of a trail. Oh my God, that's scary. That's scary. That's scary right there. Something came through here. You stop that. Imagine the gator just his eyeballs on me right now. I'm like, stop. You cut that shit out, mister. <laughs> it's like the gator's gonna say, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. It's enough of that. What's all these little holes about right here, huh? Look at that. Maybe like one of those woodpecker things like beaked this shit up. I know those things peck hard because sometimes I'm on these adventures and I'm like walking through like the woods and stuff and I'll see 
or I won't see. I never see them actually. That's a lie. I don't see them. Uh, there's a piece of wood broken right there. What's going on with that? But uh, I'll hear them pecking the shit out of these trees, and I'm just like, bro, aren't you gonna break your beaker? I guess not. I guess not. All right, so the swamp goes all the way back in there. So we can't go that way. We could, but I ain't Crocodile Dundee. I'm not Steve Irwin. And uh, yeah, it's just not gonna fucking happen. So stop. Um, hmm. Okay. How far does this beach go down? How far does it go down? Uh oh, it does go a little bit, doesn't it? I knew a guy, uh, it's a true story. We called him Gnarly Nate. Gnarly Nate. And uh, he uh, was on one of these beaches. Like, you know, like this against the water where it was really skinny. I, I seen the area, but I, I wasn't there when it happened, but obviously. Uh, but Gnarly Nate, he was partying with some of his friends. They were doing some fishing. And something came out of the water and pulled him into the water. And they were trying to say that it wasn't a gator. It sounds like it was a gator to me. I don't know. I just know that uh, he did survive, but he survived with very brutal wounds. And here I go. Hey, did you hear the story about Gnarly Nate? Let's just go the fuck down here. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody's been back here drinking, uh, eating stuff. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably some gators coming from there into here. They're probably looking at me right now saying, Hey, he calls himself hunting the dead. Let's hunt this mother lover. Yeah, I don't know how far I want to go. This doesn't look that attractive. I have a neighbor that talks like that. It's the most annoying shit in the world. Every time you step out, he'll be like, Hey, Jody. Hey, Alicia. Like, hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I noticed you haven't been coming over that much lately. Well, we work all the freaking time. Oh, work sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Thanks for reminding me. No, you know, the only thing that sucks about work, guys, is losing time with your family. I actually love the work. I hate losing the time. Okay, something else has trailed through here. There's a snake in here, guys. There's a snake in here. There's a gator because these little trails, nobody's been walking through here. There's something here. Disturbing misplaced disturbingly misplaced i feel like if i say it enough i'll manifest it come on come on throw me a bone <laughs> there's something there's something right there there's something right there what the hell as soon as i opened my mouth like that a whole bunch of gnats just fucking deep throw to me oh my god this deep throat of a bunch of gnats. What the hell is this? Ew. And it's wet too, like it washed up on shore. Or something pissed on it. Wouldn't that be my luck? I find something that just got peed on. There's that neighbor's voice again. Hey, Jody, what you find? He's one of the nosiest motherfuckers I've ever met in my life. I'm sure he's probably a good guy, but Jesus Christ, you step outside and he goes, what's wrong? Um... I don't know about disturbingly misplaced, but misplaced, yeah. I've never seen anything like that. It's like a little freaking meat pie, but without meat or without pie. You know, it's got that shape. It feels like there's some kind of, there's something in here, bro. Is that leather? Just rubbing the piss in. <laughs> Just massage the piss in. Just do it gradually, slowly. There you go. Misplaced for sure. Disturbing. What is disturbing though? Hey, it might not be here, but I damn sure make the effort to try and find it. 
I have found all kinds of things doing these adventures. If you're a long timer, a real HTD for lifer, then you then you know what kind of stuff I found. But if you're newer to the chan, which it says we got a bunch of new subscribers, um, if you're newer to the channel, make sure your notifications are on because people are constantly telling me they don't get notifications for the videos and they turn them on and turn them off, turn them on and turn them off and turn them back on. Trying to reset it thinking it will get it right and it just, I don't know, man. YouTube's famous for it. That's why you hear so many YouTubers saying it, but it, it, it's true. Uh, lots of new subs. To you guys that are newer to the channel, man, I have found swords, daggers, uh, I, maybe it's the same thing, I don't know. I have found blades, guys. Sketchy blades, old tools, old weapons, um, bullets, just haunted places, abandoned places, all kinds of sketchy things. Um, and then I find stuff like this that's, I don't know if it's sketchy or disturbing. And to be honest with you, the pinpoint's probably right about where I found it. I said 750 feet, right, from the truck? I'd say that's about right there, or as far as I can go there. So, well, if you count 500 feet back this way, I'm still in the pinpoint probably. Or probably just outside of it, but I'm still on the brink of it. So let's just take a little gander over here. There's something hard inside of here. It's so friggin' hard, bro. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, it's almost like it's metal. It's hard as a rock. I could just see that neighbor driving by right now. He'd be like, hey, Jody, you're looking really ganderful. <laughs> and he, he, so this guy is gay, right? And very nice guy. He's just got one of those voices where you're like, oh, shut up. Shut up. Uh, but very, very nice guy. But he says some really off the wall gay shit sometimes. Like, uh,. <laughs> It's kind of funny, actually. Um, he'll be like, hey, we're going to go play tennis. I'm going to teach these guys how to throw their balls around. And I'm just like, good Lord. It's very direct. Very direct. We're going to go putt, putt, golf. I'm going to show them how to put balls in holes. Uh-oh. What do we got here? There's a piece... Those are, those are underwear. Oh, that's disturbing. Very disturbia. Uh. Hmm. There's that damn receipt. going to take a little looky around the cookie on the outside. Sometimes there's some crumbs, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Daddy likes crumbs. No camping in this area. Well, I get why now because of the swamp over there. You could you could wake up in a gator's mouth, and that actually happened down in Florida more recently. Tell you what, even though they say no camping, it looks like people have been camping out there. There's all kinds of garbage out there. Bottle of liquor right there. Hmm. I just heard something up here. Oh, shit, there's somebody walking. What I was going to say... What I was going to say is maybe this is meant to be in here. Somebody put something around in here so they could have something to give this thing like some durability but what are those signs right there that's what i want to know they look like a cross between like japanese and witchcraft isn't that a weird thing oh huh, it looks like japanese witchcraft what if that's what it is dude i don't know are there japanese witches i'm sure there are hmm beautiful view beautiful view that's what I say every time I wake up and I see my, my wifey. 
I say, what a beautiful view. And she goes, oh, daddy, stop it. You're too sweet. Look what I found. It's too sweet. Me, me, me. Here, look, 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 look. It's a... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it is, Alicia. It's got a cock on it. It's got a rooster. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> cock -a -doo -doo -doo. My brain totally went pew. Literally. Um, I I don't know. It looks like it, it appears that it's made out of leather or pleather, and is it a pl it's like, hand painted um, and handmade? Dude, I can't think today. Put your cup on it. Oh, maybe, coaster. maybe, maybe a little coaster for the think. toaster. Yeah. What does that say? You think? I was just telling them it looks like a cross between Japanese and witchcraft. Maybe it's Japanese witchcraft. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. That looks like a dude running. Oh like my god! Do it it like sure this. does. And then oh my god. This. That's like an age, and then that looks like a six, and then... It's freaking witchcraft. Oh. <gasps> Look at that guy out there. He's ballsy, ain't he? Oh, All by yeah. himself out on this big body of water. Let's do that. I told them the story about Gnarly Nate and, and how he got pulled in the water gnarly. by something. It, it they, they said that they didn't think it was a gator, and that's what's scary to me. It's like, what's big enough to pull you in the water? You know how many... I got a location just so you know. Oh, you got another one? Yes. Ooh. Um, you got to think of how many animals there are out here that we don't know about. <sighs> True. True. That is a scary thing. Uh, I'm guessing there's one way out of here. I don't know. Just follow this way. Okay. okay. Um, did you go down our list? I did. Okay. Because that's the best way to do it. Just... All right. Sounds good. Um, all right. So we did disturbingly misplaced. Now we are on something that has caused us terror. And this was for, from, is that Daphne or Daphne? Daphne. Daphne? Uh, like the da a girl from Scooby-Doo. Aw. I never met a Daphne before. Um, this was taken in like probably two months ago, so. Ooh, talk about animals in the water. I, I watched this video the other day. Yes. And there was an iguana under the sea like in the ocean that was way what? under there eating it was the under the sea was under it if i can find it i'll show you but holy mac and it cheese was crazy. and i was like oh my god sam look and she's like whoa it was so whoa what is that there's uh, some kind of little nook over there i sense danger uh something that has caused us terror was taken in a few months ago by daphne um, and to be honest with you, I don't know, uh, much else other than that. I was going to say, I know, right? I was going to say a lot of people, you know, they'll, they'll write us and say, uh, Hey, use this in tank. Oh, I, I would never. Um, but they usually have their screen name. So you don't really know their real name. So big shout out to whoever Daphne is. If they're in the chat right now, big shout out to you. My screen name is Scaranoia and that's not my name. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Scaranoia TV is Alicia's channel. She does all, she puts together all the reruns and stuff from this channel. Sometimes new videos. Uh, sometimes new videos too. Um, it, it goes all the way back from, from years. Of, I've been doing this since 2018, guys. So lots of content on that channel. And there's lots of videos you missed if you're a newer sub here. So make sure you subscribe to Scaranoia TV. Wait, yeah, just keep it towards me. Wait, is it this right or that right? Is it creeping? Look, it's creeping up. It's finally catching up. It looks like it's in the middle of this. I don't think it knows. However, it looks like it's over here surrounded by a bunch of green, so maybe this is it. Something that has caused us terror. Hey, our neighbor. <laughs> our neighbor, Timothy. I was telling them about Timothy, how every time we step out, he'll be like, hey, is the dog doing okay? Like, yeah, wh why wouldn't she be? Oh, that's great. Hey, Alicia, you're looking great today, girlfriend. Yeah. Then he wanted me to make him dinner. Yeah, then he, he, he did. was a ballsy he little effort, ain't the he? the dinner cooking, because I had the window open. Yeah. He's like, is that for me? I was like, no, uh, Tim. I think the way he said it was, you know, I sure yeah. wouldn't mind if you no, bring no, me no. dinner sometime. I was like, we get it, man. You want you want what we got. Um. Okay, hold on. That looks like... Sorry, I'm not making another man. <laughs> that looks like three or four hundred feet. So it's going to be right to the Unless wood line. Unless you're my father, then I will. Even with my dad, I'd be like... 
Oh, you, you you put Daddy Poo up. He likes my tacos. He does. He does. Everybody likes your tacos. Hey, I like your tacos. What's going on? Hey, what's going on there? All right. Hold on now. Uh, no burying on church property. Well, I would think that'd be, you know, obvious, huh? Uh, uh, well, I'll try and hurry. She's, I guess that means go feed me. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Don't leave my truck. I'm not leaving it. I'm just looking at this thing. Huh. Oh, some old graves. This is something that happens a lot. If you guys are newer to the channel, man, um, it is crazy how often this thing puts us either in a cemetery, by a cemetery, but most of the time when it puts us in these places, the thing that we're, it, we end up finding is not in the cemetery, it's on the outskirts. I mean, this hasn't caused me no terror. It looks like an abandoned structure in the woods, maybe. Old, old graves. Oh, I just wanted to take a peeky. See if we can see in this thing. Oh, I'm not stepping through none of this though. No, I'm not. Hey. Whoa. Holy hell, there is a structure there, bro. Wow. How the hell do you get to it? Oh my god. Oh, is it like an old barn house or something? Looks like an old horse thing, maybe. Whoa. Nobody's accessed that in years, bro. Like, there's... You can tell by, like, the roof, the way things are growing up around it, and, and to get to it. Like, this is probably the closest way to probably get to it. Let me see if... You can get around to the front of it, maybe. Look at Alicia over there cleaning up graves. Damn, I tell you, I snagged me a good one. I'll tell you what, guys, I really did. Uh, she's one of the best cooks I've ever known. And I'm not just saying that because she's my woman, either. Um, you know, I... I it, Hi. Hey, hey. Hey, Alicia. What are you doing? Okay, why don't you get in your truck then? I'm sorry I stopped you. Uh-oh, she's doing a hooker dance. Anyway, no, she's a great, great cook, man. Uh, one of the best cooks ever. I've been to a lot of restaurants with her, and, and sometimes we eat at these restaurants, and I'm like, man, they ain't got shit on you. Um, just graduated from law school. Something she didn't even need to do. Like, we were at a point in life where, like... Everything was comfortable. Everything was fun. She did not need to go to school. And she did. And she did it because she wanted to. That's the crazy thing. So you can't get in this way either. There's a big old tree blocking it that way. I don't know a lot of people that can do that. That are like, or would do that. That are like, you know, we're not rich or anything. But we're financially stable. And... Like, a lot of people wouldn't do that are financially stable, young, have families, already got a lot on their plate, um, and, yeah, I'm just very proud of her for that, but great mom, uh, takes the time to, to do the homeschooling with the kids and, and always gets it right and does a great job, pulls the truck up for me so I don't have to walk as far, even though it looks like the pit point's over there, <laughs> um, just a all around awesome woman, uh, women, woman. <laughs> She's definitely a tenner. She's a 12er. That's what she is. I don't think I'm funny. I know I'm funny. You're funny. I'm funny looking. <laughs> Stop leaving my truck. <laughs> and we love giving each other a hard time. <sighs> You know what? I just lied a second ago. I just lied. Yeah, what? Why? Okay, all right. I'll bring you back. You, you can do that. You can have at it. It's fine. Well, that's very nice of you. Just remember, we can't save the world. But yes, I, I'll bring you back here so you can do that. That's fine. 
And she does and she does really good stuff. But I, I just lied a second ago, guys. Hold on. I just said that I'm not rich. I am rich. I'm rich with love. I'm rich with you guys. Uh, you guys make me feel rich. This is all I have ever needed. All I've ever wanted was uh, real deal people in my life. I got them now and, and I've had them for a long time and it's so awesome. Thank you. Love you guys. Love my family if you guys listen to this. Sometimes they watch my videos. Sometimes they don't. That's okay. I don't get offended. I just do this because I, I enjoy doing it. Um, yeah. That's why you should do anything. Why are all these trees look this way? I get somebody chopped them, but how the hell did the whole tree fall down but live, leave a little bit on each one that looks almost the same? Tell me that's not weird. Okay. 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 God, that's so weird. What's going on with that? <laughs> now my neighbor's voice is going to be stuck in my head all day long. But I'm not even kidding, bro. As soon as like I get back home, whether it's today or tomorrow, I never know where I'm going to be, what I'm going to do. But let's say I get home today and he's outside. He'll say, hey, Joni, looks like your truck needs a good washing. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks for affirming, confirming the obvious. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, good guy. And, and I'll tell you what, he does watch our place like a hawk, bro, which is... This is one of those neighbors you always hope to have, you know. The people on the other side of us, they're like that too. We look out for them, they look out for us. They're good people. They're more of the quiet type, which is really cool. Um, whoa. It's too bad I can't get back there. They just chopped all this down. But dude, these woods look like they got some shit back there. Or maybe it's just I've done so many woods that I feel, I feel like I, I feel them. I get a vibe. I read them. I know shit about shit. Hmm. And I probably could hop all this and go in there, but it's snake time, guys. It's snaky, breaky, achy, achy, breaky snake time. That's what I got to say about that. I see what she's saying. I, I respect the hell out of her for saying that, though. Bring a broom here and brush some of these off. I mean, come on. It wouldn't take that long. And I'm sure if somebody's family does show up, they'll appreciate it. She's over there talking to him right now. She's such a sweetheart, man. <sighs> Damn. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to go back there. How about these people that live right by the cemetery? What kind of stuff do you think that they experience? Um, I've asked this before and I wonder this quite often because I see how many people live by these places. But I think... Uh, whoa. This one's broke right here. Look at that. You can't even see it no more. Grass is just grown right through it and over it. That's pretty sad. I think that if you live by a cemetery, man, you're going to have extra paranormal activity. I think there's paranormal activity everywhere, but I think there might be a little bit, a little bit mo. Oh, somebody burned this tree, huh? Or lightning hit it, one or the other. Hmm. Something just hit the ground over here. Where the hell did it hit from, right? I know ain't nobody throwing anything. I don't see nothing. Something that has caused us terror. Uh, cemeteries? Not really. I see. I, I was just telling them, like, I was looking at some of these, and they really could stand to be brushed off. Uh-huh. Sixteen years old got into an argument at a movie theater and got shot. Wow. Dreamed of being a pro football player. Went to see a movie, got into an argument with somebody, 
and got shot. She just, my little researcher, that's what she just found there. Well, I mean, nothing's worth, yeah, I mean, an argument leading to death? Wow, Jesus. Two people wasted their life there. The person who killed him and, and, and him, wait, you know, the argument, not getting out of that situation. That's sad. You know something about Alicia and I? We don't ever argue, bro. We bicker for fun. <laughs> like, legit. <laughs> Oh, this is sad. I don't know where those came from. There's some pretty flowers right here that are just like, like, look at this. No. That is sad. They're really nice and they're just kind of. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. Now, if you sweep this grave off, it'll look really cool. That's sad. I have to constantly tell her though, like she'll see a dog that we can't rescue or something or something will happen. Hey, like, hey, you just can't save the world. The fact that you want to is a beautiful thing. What is that? What is that? I see eyes. Oh my god! Bro! Look! It's a little owl! Don't touch it, I've already touched it! There's a peak couple of brick here, what the hell? Driftwood, brick, an owl on a burned stump. Something has caused us terror. Um, I, I think that it's caused us more enjoyment than anything. The owl, man, it's just so significant to uh, the Rando app. However, we're not using the Rando app on this one. We're using Scaranoia app. We switch back and forth 90% of the time. I'm going to leave this here. I have found enough owls for a lifetime, but dude, I just barely, I see those little yellow and beaker looking eyes looking at me. I was like, what the hell is that? Some kind of new species? Oh no, it's just another owl. Woo, yay. Kick the tires, light the fires. Calling the troops, baby. Woo. Wow. I'll we'll leave that here for another random otter. What is it? I I'm leaving. I've found enough owls for a lifetime. I know. Come on. We can't. We. Listen. I gotta wear no, we'll come back here. Dude, the place ain't. Ain't too far out the way. Take a look at that, though. Well, that grave right there? Yeah. Well, I know we would never let each other's grave get like that. That is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at this, guys. Just trees and, and, and stuff piled on top of it. Like, it means nothing. That is the saddest. Okay. <sighs> Something that has caused us terror. Um, this is more like it. This is causing us terror because, I mean, you can't unsee this right here, bro. This is a sadness. Yeah, no, we'll definitely come back. I'll, I'll help you. Damn, bro. No, I know. Hey, dude, you did more than anybody else is doing. You did more than the cemetery's doing, and they're getting paid for it. Are they being paid to do that? Well, yeah, they don't operate these things for free. Look at this cross. There's something about this one. Yeah, it takes money to... to I mean, you know, they charge people for a plot. Then they charge them to make these um, headstones and, and for these slabs and for the vaults and for the caskets. They just put a wooden marker there for it. Yeah. That's horrible. It is horrible. Oh my hand, I'll never let you go. Like that. <laughs> hey. I'll never let you go, Jack. And then Rose lets him go. Seriously, 
Honestly, you would have like the most cleanest bleached <laughs> cemetery plot there was in the. Oh well, that's very sweet of you. You would too. So. Thank you. With pink roses. <laughs> hey, there's a toilet back there. That's terror. There's a slide. There's a. What the hell is that? I don't know. This don't matter. Anyways, listen. Um, we are going to. Let's get out of this area. Um, or I don't know. I don't know. It seems like it's producing. Maybe there might be some more around here. Uh, what we usually do is we try and, you know, spread this out a little bit when we do these adventures, man. Because sometimes an area can feel like it's getting dry. Uh, there's no way to get to it safely. Like, yeah. There's a big tree. I want to. But anyways, guys, we'll come back online here in a minute. Make sure you smash that thumbs up comment below if you haven't done that already. Yeah, pre-comment before you comment, comment. And make sure you're sharing the videos, become a member, a patron, all that good stuff. Uh, we're just turning up. Yeah, there's even graves right here in the front. Ain't that crazy? Never seen that before. Ooh, good thing <gasps> you didn't go. Ooh, there's swamp in front of that place. You couldn't even drive up to it because of that. Bro. That's horrible. It's like somebody really made sure you couldn't get to it. It makes me wonder why. Maybe they flooded it out or something. It didn't even look like there was like trees like cut down around it, like to make you stop from getting inside. Yeah, bodies like yeah there ain't no way to get into that. Yeah, that's uh that's swamp that's swamp thing shit right there. All right, we'll come back online in a few minutes, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading to the next location in tension. Proof people are missing. I, I don't really, you know, I do and I don't, okay? Uh, these kind of intentions, Alicia, they, they scare the shit out of me. Right. One, you could find somebody. Uh, authorities, authorities show up. Uh, forensics show up. You spend your whole day at a place. Has it happened? No, but... That is one of my fears that it's going to happen. The upside, good side, whatever you want to call it, would be uh, you bring closure to somebody. You, you find somebody that's missing and you bring closure. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's one of those things right there. But uh, proof of people, proof that people are missing. Okay, there we go. That is the way the intent was worded. Okay, people. Yeah, well, for one, um, we haven't been... Actually, you know, I don't think we've been back here. I don't... If we have, I don't remember. Uh, we've done so many of these I adventures that... Yeah, I, I can't keep track, bro. We've been all over. We've ate up Florida. We've ate up Georgia. We've ate up Alabama and, and South Carolina and some of Tennessee. So, um, you know... <gasps> oh, that little area back there looks familiar. Looks like we're getting close to it. It looks like it's by a big body of water on the map. All I see is blue, blue, blue. So hopefully we didn't come all this way and we get up here and we can't we can't get to the pinpoint. That would suck. Um hold on. 100 feet make a left. Uh, I'm gonna say that's well, it shows a road right here. It doesn't show that patch of green, and it's pretty accurate, too. So okay, uh, 25 feet ahead is the pinpoint. 25 feet ahead. Okay, so maybe, okay, it, it's before the water. It's before. Um, all right, I'll get out and look. Let's see. In tents like this, man, I definitely like to take serious because we, we really need to look thoroughly, and, and I'll explain how much area we have to look if it showed like there was a road here maybe one day there was a road like back in the 50s or whatever and a car could have could and they have opened this up at some point for water to flow through, through? i don't know through and landed in the water i mean there could yeah be or maybe there used to be a bridge here or something you never know <laughs> but you never know baby all right um so let me explain radius pinpoint proximity all that stuff uh oh right where this water spigot is let's say that okay that's more than 25 feet uh let's say about right here okay say this is the pinpoint we can go 500 feet that way 500 feet that way 500 feet that way like 100 feet this way um so you know let's let's start looking and see if we can find something we're usually looking for uh an object a person a place or an experience um 
let's hope we don't find a person but uh again if we do there's like a there's a, a happiness and a sadness that comes with that start looking now what i'm doing right now i know you guys can't see my eyes but i'm looking around the bottoms of these trees i'm looking up in these trees um and of course just out in the open ground it's always scary using these intents i mean what we could do hell is that somebody shoot off a gun or something whatever it was it was quick okay i guess we'll just check them off we'll, we'll go this way first there's a piece of like a shoestring or something There's like some garbage and stuff up here. Not to get excited about garbage, like, ooh, garbage, yay, hey. What are you doing there? But it, it just looked like something on the ground. I wanna make sure it's garbage. Okay, that's aluminum foil. Bag, garbage, uh, there's a shirt. And it's George brand, that's Walmart brand. Somebody left a shirt here. Could be an item of a missing person. Could just be that they were out. Oh, here's a piece of rope. Ooh. Could be that they were just out here fishing and decided to hawk it. Somebody was eating a platter. A platter and some nanners. I have found things under these pavilions before, like up in the rafters and and stuff. So I always look really good because you just never know. I was with Daddy Poo one time and uh, we found something up there. I forget what it was. Wherever it was we were. <sighs> Spider web already. Not even in the deep woods and get spider web on me. Beautiful view though, huh? We're being blessed with the views today. We're being blessed with the views. Yo, I took my test with my news. You can test me, I won't lose. Beat the game up and leave it with the bruise. Fuck that shit, there's only real meaning with every single tattoo. She said it's taboo. I'm like, tap what, girl? Don't make me tap you. Uh. Back on the rando, back with the bando, back like I'm Rambo. Uh oh. I was keeping it pretty, pretty on the low with the rapperettes today, man, but it's starting to come out, I think. Hmm. Search this area till we find something and then we can call it. And this people really just put their trash anywhere is it's pretty much the number one thing I find. Uh, these docks get a little rocky. I have severe motion sickness, and I know you're probably looking at this saying, Jody, that ain't barely going to rock. All it takes is just a little of that motion, and, and yeah, it makes me ill. Um, Ain't much I can do. If, here, I'll do it. I'll try and walk gentle so it doesn't rock too much. All I can really do is look around the base of this thing, and that's all I really wanted to do. Maybe look out there along the edges. It's beautiful and peaceful though. Hmm. 
don't see anything suspicious. No blood stains, nothing like that. Just looking up under that rock right there to see if I've seen anything. I just try and look in places that I feel like maybe like investigators or, or detectives would would look. And I just had a spider on me crawling on my finger and I tried to flick it the first time it didn't go off so it probably bit me because it got scared hold me because I'm scared hmm oh the strap out of some underwear Ooh. At least they're wearing Hanes. Yo, I'm Batman and she Bane. She like to pull me out my Hanes. Real dope bitch, the only thing that can pull me out the game. She like, boy must be a mechanic because he pulled me out the frame. First name Mary, last name Jane. Came to bring the pain because it's my thing. 1999, I was with the gang. Chilling on the block, never thinking about the fame. Seen a lot of shit, dealt with all the rain. Teardrops to fear flops and deer stops. Like headlights and dead night. Keep them in the red sight when the red bite. Da 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 da. What's this thing? It's a unique looking contraption. It's a contraption. Yo, it's a contraption. She told me she's having contractions. <laughs> I'm the one she's she contacting. Stutter there, stutter rap. I'm I, I'm the one that she's contacting. She having contractions. <laughs> I'm silly, I know. I know. Life's too short to be serious though. Can you imagine the serious people? Like even even the people that like may occasionally watch this, I'll, I'll get somebody that says, man, you're just too happy for me. I'm like, what? That's weird. I'm too happy for you? You should be happy to the fullest extent that you can. I love being happy. Happy, happy, happy. I'm happy. I'm never crappy. Most of these haters need to take a nappy. They're kind of flappy. <laughs> Bitch looking flabby. Better name is Gabby. Pulled up in this bitch with her hair looking ratty. She's like, oh my God, time to sip on some natty. Damn girl, you chatty like Kathy. Hashtag daddy. Hmm. I don't see Nathan. I'm glad I don't see Nathan. Nobody wants to see Nathan. <laughs> Tell you what, going, going up, going up, and then down, and up, and down. These calf muscles, bro, they, 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 they burn, they burn, I'm gonna need a burrito. Oh, I need a burrito. <laughs> need some burrito gas. Not gas from a burrito. You get it. I need few, I need food fuel is what I need. <laughs> oh, Lord. There's a couple old boys over there fishing. The worst thing you can do when you see somebody doing that is say, Hey, did you catch anything? They're going to be like, well, I would have if you would have shut your fucking mouth and not screamed and scared all the fish away. Or something jump out here. I just 
her to jump her. If she Bambi, then I'm thumper. I ain't trying to hump her. I don't want to dump her. But I might pull up with the massacre at the slumber. She'll be like, oh my God, Jody, here, please take my number. Sure. Why not? Thighs hot. Looking like a tri-stop with the eye hop. I would hit it with the M&M &M sound, but I don't want to scare these gentlemen's fish away. You heard me. Mm. It's a little hard to walk right here. I can't lie. Like, I know you guys can't tell, but like I am walking at this angle that's just weird. Just weird. Beautiful place. Maybe I just ain't gonna find anything here. You know, I, I, I have found that, uh, oh, there's a little, little island here. I'm like, oh, it's 10 feet of sand, Jody. What's so islandish about it? I don't know. Somebody was down there drinking or else just threw it over here, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, one thing about these apps, man, is they, they, they put you in the right places to find something. It doesn't mean you're going to. guys are over there talking about politics <laughs> hmm there's something right there I don't know what that is liquor bottle I don't know I sure would like to know what they're catching out here though I ain't gonna ask them but Pretty sure it's like catfish or trout, right? <laughs> Damn. Shit. Tell you what though, this is one of the funnest parts uh, of these adventures is, it is not scoring sometimes. Um, I know that sounds weird, but Getting the exercise, talking to you guys as if you were here, um, and that's the way I feel, truly, like I've always tried to do that, make it feel like you're here with me and we're talking, having a conversation, and I'm just bouncing off myself, but uh, the looking is the fun part. It really is. When you find something, yes, I, I get excited. I feel like a kid in a candy store, but... Uh, Just knowing that you might find something. I don't know. It's, it's a vibe, bro. It's a vibe. No water flow, Alicia. I can you doing it. No, I'm good. Have I got lots of flow, thank you very much. Tons of pie cones. Wow, it's mainly filled with pine cones. <laughs> Checked it all. What is that? <sighs> what the hell is that? <sighs> My pride and joy. What the? 
There ain't no photographs in it. Yo! <laughs> They're probably gonna kill me now. What the hell? Is that it? Whoa. Hold on, I found some. Uh, here, let me. I'm gonna try and pull that picture out and see if there's a name on the back of it. Why would that be here? Dude, why would that be here? Dude, I found I found a picture album with one picture in it. Yeah, I know I sound way too excited for something so small, but again, you know, you're you're looking and you're praying to God, you're like, find something, find something. Let me let me make myself happy, make the people happy watching this. Like, let's have something to get excited about. I pray to God one of these people are not missing. Yo, hey, one. dude, one single picture. Can you see if you can pull that out? I want to um see if there's like a name or something on it. That looks like What's a small birthday. Here, I'll do it. I got it. I was like looking at the dinosaurs. How do you? I know. I, I'm dying to know if there's something written on that. Then you can dude, read. If so, like you old. can research it. It's so like I guess it's been in the sun for so long. It's dude, listen. There. If there's a name on it, she can research it. And wouldn't that be crazy if somebody was missing? I can find the person. There is a name. Kyle's birthday. Shit, that tells us nothing. 8292. 92. <sighs> Kyle's birthday, 8292. I wonder if you could look up missing children in this area and see if there is a Kyle missing that maybe they might have a picture of him that would match this. What's you know what I'm birthday? saying? Uh, 8292. Yeah. I've had a few friends named Kyle in my life. I had a dinosaur birthday. You know, I had a dinosaur birthday when I was a kid. Me too. And a Barney. He had a Barney. <laughs> I Barney. love you. Barbie, Ariel. Mm, typical girl stuff. Yeah. What else did I have? I had a skating ring party one time. Skating ring parties are fun. That's I have fun. one of those. Bowling parties. The dinosaur party I had though, mom had me a huge, huge dinosaur cake made from Publix. Whoever did it, like they did the most awesome job. It's still the best looking cake I've seen to date. Like she, they had a big volcano made on top of the cake was filled with icing and made of icing <laughs> it was just super fattening was it, from publix? it was publix yeah i remember that cake yeah um guys we'll do another one but alicia is going to look and see if we can find something on this if it would have said a last name dude we would have been Nothing had a better chance up. Nothing, nothing showing up for a missing name. kyle in this area no. damn she looks like a school teacher that i had when i was a kid Definitely isn't, but yeah. Uh, God, what was Can her name? Can we see that cake? That's Mi a homemade cake. Miss Opitz. That and was her name. You know what's name. crazy is homemade cakes back then tasted way better than what they do now. They yeah, I wonder so why. Much. Like meat and stuff, I understand, because nowadays, like they're putting all these chemicals in meat to, like, you know. You know, my grandma used to put mayonnaise in the cake batter. Really? Yeah, because it comes out more like. I did not know. I had never heard. But of that. it don't taste like mayonnaise. It's like the most crazy shit. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. Hey. Our grandma's new best. Um, well, if anybody knows who this is. Yeah, if you know, I don't know if you can do a Google reverse image search or something, but uh, whatever the case may be, we, we did find something. We don't know that they're missing by any means, but uh, we have enough time to do another one, maybe two. It depends on how quickly we find the item. I am time finding... Time was 6.15 when this picture was taken. How do you know? Because there's a clock right there so 6 you little investigative thing i know i'm like trying to look for hints it was 6 15 when they did his birthday party mm -hmm. good job alicia damn she's smart man uh anyways guys uh we'll come back on here in a minute we'll get up the street because there really was nothing on the way here dude this is like way way out the way too scary looking guys there's nothing hardly out here at all looks like it's about to rain I 
hope we beat the rain. This video has all, almost all been done and, and straight through, which is, is really cool because we usually are battling rain or else areas that we just can't touch. So um, came off two dirt roads onto a main road where I can't even believe people live. Like there's nothing around here, bro. If we broke down right now, we would be- It would be somebody's dinner. Yeah, luckily we still got signals. So I mean, we'd be able to call for help, but somebody's dinner <laughs> true story where my grandpa lived in Tennessee there was a guy cooking people that guy like, yep I know your grandma yeah. before she passed she told me the story about that like somebody over there ate some meatloaf and couldn't find out it was actually human yeah true story. dude super true story so <clears throat> about four houses down from where Alicia's grandmother lived in the mountains in Tennessee um there was this guy that would always invite neighbors over for dinner and they said he was such a good cook but they would always say that the meat was a little not, they didn't say it was bad they just said it was different like where'd you get this meat who does your meat and he's like oh you know uh, this is fresh meat i kill these animals myself you're eating this you're eating that whatever and turned out they ended up coming there and, and raiding his home uh, something tipped the police off it looks like it's gonna be on the left um, there was bodies just chopped up galore. People that it went missing over like a six month period just in his deep freezers. And, that is, uh, it's coming up. and that's why. Oh I'm no. Meatloaf. Another. <laughs> oh yeah, it was meatloaf that he was serving it people. Was and Shit. That's why I don't eat meatloaf because. Uh, Whoa. Okay, wait, hold on. So another church, another cemetery. It says the pinpoint is straight back here 200 feet. Does it look like there's a trail that goes through these woods? No, right? Okay, this is a little bit different of a cemetery. Look how it's all spread out. That's odd. Yeah, and it looks like... It makes me wonder, since how they're spread out like this, are there unmarked graves? Right, well, yeah, I mean, there definitely could be. Do me a favor and, and hit the lock button, because this is definitely sketchy. Um. You know there's unmarked graves. There's this is a grave just randomly sitting over there. If we didn't come so far out the way, guys, I would have just did another one. Um, I, I'm not against hitting cemeteries, but, uh, you know, I, I've had my fill, man, of doing cemeteries over the years. Um, I, I love them. I respect them. But, you know, one per video is, is, is good enough. There's a grave. Whoa. Holy mackerel. Dude, that one sitting right back there is super creepy. I got a vibe. I didn't get this vibe earlier at that cemetery. I got a vibe. There, there's something here, bro. This, this, this place has a haunting feeling. Just look at how every grave at every cemetery we go to just see. There's one right there. You can't even see it. It's just treated like this, bro. Oh, my God. This is a unique looking place right here. Pinpoint looks like it was straight out, and there's an open well over there, so I'm glad that I didn't keep walking straight. That's exactly why you don't want to do that. Hmm. Yep. It was a well up under there. Interesting. Interestingly scary. Which, by the way, the intent is real life horrors. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, this is coming in from Derek. Or as I like to call him, Derek. <laughs> I twist and turn everybody's name, man. I give people nicknames and shit. I'm that guy. I'm him. Um, there's a grave way back there. You can't even like comfortably walk to, bro. Look at that. You see it right through there? That's crazy.
real life horrors. Um, dude, you know what? It sounds like I hear water running back there. I wish you could comfortably walk through this mess. Look at that. There's unmarked graves right there. Dude. That is wild. One cross, two cross, three, four, five, six, seven. There's another way to get through. I'm just, the snakes are out right now, so I'm not trying to step through this mess. Tell you what, man, I've got my cardio in today. Go around this way and see if we see any entryway back into the, the woods over here. Not only are the graves spread out, like none of them are even either. Like they're just kind of like wherever they put them, they put them. This is like one of the most unorchestrated cemeteries I've ever seen. Wow, they made a pillow style headstone for this out of concrete, just so it could have something. Oh man. All right, here's where it gets scary, bro. It gets scary right here. That's a big old one right here. Just completely covered with the stuff. Dude, I hear like running water. That is wild to me, bro. I hear what sounds like running water back there. It might be like a creek or something, but there's so many graves through here. I don't even want to walk through here. There's one right there, bro. There's one just sticking up out of the ground. You can barely even tell it's there. One right there, laying down, turned over. There's one right here. You know, it's so sad. I, I get it. Um, Somebody dies. You got a busy life. You got family, you got responsibilities, you're working, you're stressed. Yeah, people say they deal with the anxiety and things like that nowadays. Um, dude, look, I, I get it. But you gotta show up for people you really loved. Uh, just because they're gone, don't let them be forgotten, man. That is so sad. I mean, every time I, I, I'm in Florida, like, you know, I stop by and see loved ones and, and tidy up their grave and throw some flowers on it and just say a little prayer or something. It's so dead out here. I don't even know who comes to this church, bro. Pretty nice church. Maybe the church ain't in order no more. This 
really turned into a church explorer, hasn't it? Like I said, I, I don't, uh, I would have taken another one, but, uh, came way far out the way to come here. Hmm. There might be a lot of stuff in here that we're not going to find just because of how grown up it is. Look at those that are up under those trees right there. You can't, can't even see it. That one's broke. Maybe a tree fell on it or something. Oh my God. This is insane. I've never seen a cemetery like this, bro. Like this is like history uh, for the HTD channel. Just something we've never stumbled upon is a cemetery so out of whack. These all have the last name Thomas on them. Maybe there's no more Thomases left alive to, to take care of it. Uh, and it's a lot to take care of. I ain't gonna lie. Like, this is a lot, bro. But, damn. <laughs> Bunch of creepy woods. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get back to that water. I can hear running water, but not that it really matters. I just <clears throat> sometimes uh, look at this face just sitting here. Just sometimes you can find cool things by creeks. And I love a good old creek. Crave just sitting over here. What? Oh, big old trees just laying on it. Wow. And then all those right there you can't even get to. It's definitely the most uh, mistreated, undertreated cemetery I've ever come across. Yeah, you couldn't even, like, I mean, you could. <laughs> you could step back through here. I almost don't even want to. There's so many. Look at all this. Wow. By the way, I'm not walking on any of these. I'm walking next to them. I don't ever step on them. I walk past them or... Step over them. This is kind of our intention if you think about it, real life horrors, I mean. This is a place where the dead are supposed to rest in peace. Um, and most cemeteries, one thing I've always liked about them is they feel peaceful. This doesn't really feel peaceful because I'm sure no spirit is happy about that. I think we checked it all. Real life horrors, real life horrors, real life horrors. I'm alive. <laughs> Did I go over there? 
went through here, right? Shit, I don't know if I went over there or not. Dude, getting the getting the miles in today. Whew. The sun's uh getting a little toasty too. I think one of the horrors here is uh and at the last one, but definitely this one. This one's beyond is the is the mistreatment dude there's big old mausoleums over there like uh, like uh, above ground tombs doesn't look like you can get to them either now i was saying earlier i felt uh energy here i still feel that i feel like a heaviness and now it's making me wonder if like that is unsettled uh, unhappy spirits here. What the hell is that? Tell me that's not an open grave for Oh my god Okay Yeah, see Whoa, they're back there as far as you can see too Shit, good lord Let me see something real quick Um, let's do the spirit talker real fast Hear that, hear that woodpecker? All right, listen. Is there something here that is unhappy? Is there someone here that is unhappy? I mean, I'm looking at these graves here and there is absolutely no care for this cemetery whatsoever. Caroline. I don't know if I want to know what's in there. Don't see anything, but it looks like somebody took a grave out of there, bro. Caroline. Whoa, look at this. Little area back here. They got like... <laughs> They got like a nice gate. But then it's all uh it's all grown up. Turn that volume up. Is there anything spiritual here? Are you upset? Are you upset about the way that this graveyard has been treated? You can use this device here to speak to me. It's them. It's them. Who is them? Listen, I uh, don't mean you any harm, no trouble at all. I didn't know I was gonna be here today. Um, this won't make no sense to you. I'm scary treasure hunting. I'm using the intention, real life horrors. And it's brought me here. Can you tell me what those real life horrors may be? I feel like it's the, treat, the treatment of this place here. Somebody's driven back here recently. What's that? Whoa. Just fell apart, whatever it is. Memoirs of an imaginary friend. Matthew Dix. 
coming August 21st. I've been here 400 years. Oh my god. I've been here 400 years. Well, that's 300 and uh, 60 years more than me. It's a CD. Memoirs of an imaginary friend. Huh. That's interesting. All the discs are in here. Who the heck was back here listening to this, bro? A novel as creative, brave, and pitch perfect as its narrator, an imaginary friend named Budo, who reminds us that bravery comes in the most unlikely forms. It's been a long time since I read a book that has captured me so completely and has wowed me with its unique vision. You've never read a book like this before, as Budo himself might say, believe me. Whoa, look, the, per uh, the person did this, uh, this quote, this critic right here, is their name was Jody. <laughs> Interesting. Spells different, uh, spells theirs different than mine. Hmm. 2012. Hasn't been here that long, I mean. Bench. Bench. Do we see a bench? If I see a bench right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poop. I'm gonna poop my pants. Hmm. This ground is soft as mashed potatoes. Am I getting close to you? I see all these unmarked graves. I see all these old, old, mistreated graves, almost just completely forgotten about. If it wasn't for me being here today, who would shed light on this? This is a situation, this is a sadness. Can you tell me how you feel? Please. Dude, look at that old, old bottle right there. It's like an old, old mayonnaise jar thing. I feel like this is one of those places where they just said, throw them there, forget about them. And that's so, so sad. But those places do exist. I, I know of a lot of them in Tennessee. Um, I don't know, man. I got a vibe. Like, I don't... I don't want to leave... What is it? Uh, toys. Toys. Is there a child here? Or, do you want some toys? I'll bring you some toys. I mean, you'll have to wait a few days till I can get back this way. It's kind of, kind of far. Tell me what you want or what I can do to help you and I'll, I'll do my best. I can pray for you. How about we do that? How about I pray for you right now? In Jesus' name, I pray. God, I ask that you please wrap your godly hands around all the spirits here, around this graveyard, around this church, around this sacred ground. You be the light, guide them to the light, help them make sense. I've been here 300 years. Okay. I'm going to finish and then I'm going to answer that. Help them. Help them make sense of, of, of what's happened to them. What they can do. Where they can be. If they don't want to be here, help bring them home. In Jesus' name we pray. God, we thank you for everything you've done for us and everything you will do. Amen. One response says, I've been here 400 years. Then another one says, I've been here 300 years. Are these spirits that have been here that long? Because we've never got that before. We have got spirits saying, I'm from the 1800s. I've been here you know, for a hundred years, 200 years. We do get those responses, but I've never got 400, 300, or like they're almost like they're counting down. Um, like one spirit said, Hey, I've been here 400 years. Another spirit a minute later said, Hey, I've been here 300 years. You know, 
I'm sure this doesn't make sense to them if they if they're old 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 spirits like that. They're probably like, "What is this guy doing? How is how am I speaking through this device, this futuristic modern thing?" I think this is our intention, guys. Um let me know in the live chat and in the comment section what you think. I'm glad that Alicia didn't get out on this one because she'd be very, very upset. She, uh, her heart, man, is, is, is bigger, bigger than the world. So she'd see this and this would, uh, it's definitely upset her. I'm losing energy. I'm losing energy. You don't need to. You don't have to. You can use my energy. You can draw from me. You can draw from the atmospherics. You mean you've been here so long you feel like you're losing the power to connect? You ever think about that? Whoa, it stopped. One lady here. Dude, I, I, it stopped. What the heck? One lady here, it didn't even say it out loud. I have a, a, a feeling of, and it's from the time like I started walking towards over here, of unhappiness, um, forgotten feeling. Um, it kind of hits you. I mean, it'd be interesting for me not to tell Alicia what I felt and, and see what she tells me she feels. Of course, I don't want her to come over here and see this man. She's gonna, she's gonna be very upset. Oh, I just heard somebody say something. Hello? What do we got? We got uh, foot, footstep. It didn't say that one out loud either. Footstep, one lady here. I'm losing energy. I've been here 300 years. Toys, bench. I've been here 400 years. It's them, Caroline. Listen, I just want to say um, thank you for communicating with me if you did. And I am so sorry that you're graveyard and your graves have been treated like this that was him Ooh, that was him i don't know why all of a sudden it's not coming through here that was him i thought i heard a voice i wonder if that was confirming that was him wouldn't that be some crazy shit i did hear a man's voice well actually i don't know if it was a man i heard a voice hey unlock it what are you I doing did. that's crazy that? all right What's look wrong? Uh, I'm not freaking out just disappointed like I don't even want you to get out and see it like this cemetery is the most Unkept cemetery oh, no. I've ever seen in my life. There are graves back here in these woods mm -hmm. That you can't even really tell they're there unless you get out and walk up to the fence line Do you see what I see in front of us? Uh, like no what? cap that tree spells die like the limbs hanging down right there d-i-e I see what you're saying. I do see that. Let me see if I can pull up a little bit closer. Do I'll be damned. you can see that? I do. What the I don't know if they'll be what? able to make it out, but it sure does. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so D I E. Uh, you should post that on our Patreon. Okay, hold on That's now. very unique. I just noticed that. I'm like, but I listen, there are graves above ground tombs, in ground tombs just scattered through these woods like you wouldn't believe yeah hold on yeah uh I don't know if can see it wow on. guys uh, here's hold on shit hold on okay d i spell with e tree branches. spell with tree branches i'll be damn damn Ain't alicia you got crazy? a good eye eagle eye over dude, here I'm man <laughs> dude she's always been like that too she's always no. like seen the weirdest craziest You're shit saying this one has not been kept up either. nah it's really really sad man like look there's even one over there like what 
do these people do? I've never seen one this bad before. Like when you're buried here on church properties, are, uh -huh. is the church supposed to take care of? Yeah. Yeah, the church is supposed to, uh, somebody might be too old to take care of it, or somebody just don't care, or maybe there's not enough people around, maybe there's nobody running the church right now. I had time, I would do all of them. I know you would, but again, you, you know, there's there's not enough time in the world, we, we are, somebody. are busy, but we can come back and help a little bit. Uh, I want to bring a few toys back here, because I did get oh. the response, toys. If there's a kid here that wants some toys, man, I'm bringing some kids some kids' toys back to that spot. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up, comment below, share this on social media. We post every other day, live chat, live premiere, always right here on the Hunting the Dead channel. I love you guys, man. I'll see you in a few days. That's the first person I've seen go by. But until then, sweet nightmares. Dog kill the cat, living in a fit of rage. Dog kill the cat, living in a fit of rage. Dog kill the cat, living in a fit of rage. Dog kill the cat living in a fit of rage I just killed my girlfriend Damn she talked too much Watch don't didn't wanna do it But she pushed a knock Watch she tells me she'll do better They'll have to take her off Watch I'm sorry that this happened You should've shut the fuck up Says she wants a fuck boy, but I ain't no fuck boy. Yeah, she just my fuck toy. Bitch, I never fuck boy. Straighter than the arrow is. Call this experiment. I just passed your bitch around like that hoe was Marilyn. All she do is top me off. Call that bitch lock jaws. When she hit me rap, man, you know it's about to pop off. Fuck that shit, which poppin' off. Damn, it makes my dick so soft. Fuck this bitch, man, hoe get lost. You can't get your sorry toss. I just wanna light you up, drown you in some gasoline and ask you are you hot enough? Fuck you while your hands in cuffs, stab you with a broken cup, suck me while you're looking up and tell you that we breaking up. I know it's hard when things go south, but it's so much harder with this dick in your mouth. Shake that ass like sober girl, take my friends, come over girl. I might kill both of you, but at least we're all not like squirrels. I just kill my girlfriend, if she talks to Sorry.